quite some time since I've done a haul on this channel for just like general life things, home decor, kitchenware, clothing, books, all that jazz. So I don't know, I thought it'd be fun to do one of those today. What originally sparked me wanting to do this video was a recent trip to Ikea. I'm not at Ikea often, but I love going there and I ended up picking up a lot of different things but fun things. So we'll start there and make our way through everything else. Starting off with glassware, I picked up two of these beautiful rose tinted glasses. They're made in Spain and they're just a really great size for smoothies, for water, for you know beverages. I love getting glassware from Ikea because it's inexpensive but you can still find cute options like this. And then if you or someone you know breaks anything, it's not a big deal at all. I have glasses from Ikea, some of which have broken just over the years, so that's why I only got two of these ones because I think they're a fun different pop of color to add to my cupboard, but I didn't need like a full set. I'm a big fan also of the eclectic look, so I'm trying to be more mindful of buying less sets so that everything in my cupboard isn't super matchy-matchy. Everyone knows I do not need any more mugs, but I just loved this glass one that I saw there. I feel like it's perfect for a latte or for tea. I just got one of them because like I said, don't really need more mugs in my life, but I, I thought this was just a really simple classic piece. Who doesn't love a glass mug? So I know I just said I don't really buy as many sets these days, but I did get a set of wine glasses. They're called the store scent. Comes in a pack of six, and this is what it looks like. They're a pretty basic wine glass. I think six of them ended up being $14.99. And kind of going back to that comment I just made about inexpensive glassware is great for the fact that if it breaks, you don't panic. Um, that's definitely why I kind of decided to go this route because I originally wanted something a little bit more modern for my wine glasses but those types of wine glasses that I've found tend to be a little bit pricier. Wine glasses above like all glasses that you have, I just feel like are notorious for tipping over and, and breaking. <laughs> this is a cushion, a seat cushion that I got for my two island chairs in my kitchen. I really like the neutral color of these because they'll just kind of blend in with my chairs, but I was needing a little bit of cushion to add to my island chairs because they're not the most comfortable for long-term sitting. Whether it's for people who come over and sit down or for me working long hours at my kitchen island, butts everywhere will appreciate extra poof. Very excited. This Lazy Susan right here captured the eyeballs of not only myself, but also my mom and my aunt. All three of us walked away with one of these. It's quite large, as you can see, comparison to my head. <laughs> I think this will not only make a great grounding centerpiece, but I picture it being great for taco nights. You put all your toppings uh, on the board and you can just have everyone spin it so they can grab what they want. I think it's great for appetizers or munchies. Like the spinning is a fun time and I love this, this color wood. I'm almost gonna drop it and break it. So so I'm gonna put it down, but big fan. Anyone who's been following along with my channel for a while knows that one of my favorite decorating hacks is pillow covers. Pillow covers are awesome because they allow you to constantly be switching out the look of your, your couch or your bed without having to store these big, gigantic, fluffy pillows. And when you live in an apartment with minimal storage, that's something you always have to be thinking about is, where am I gonna put this when I'm not using it? The minimal storage is a plus. The fact that you can switch up the look of your space for a much lower cost is a huge plus. All around, I'm a big fan. So I got this one called the Custer Fly. This beautiful blush velvet one called Sanella and a Rodask linen option. I think they pair so beautifully together. I'll include some b-roll of, of these actually on some pillows because I feel like it's hard to get the vibe um, when they're folded up like this. I love a neutral palette with a pop of color and blush pink has been a color I've been probably gravitating towards for my home for a few years now. It's just a nice, pleasant, happy color and I think when you pair it with neutrals, it, it gives it a little bit more sophistication. I've got like a bag here full of just those random things in the on the bottom floor of Ikea. The place where decisions get made and you're like, oof, do I need this or do I just think I need this? First thing in my bag here is a wooden spoon. I surprisingly have never owned a wooden spoon before. Now I do. Oh, okay. I am very excited about this. This is a new duvet cover for my bedroom. I currently have like a cool gray duvet that's also from Ikea and I really like it. It's held up beautifully throughout the years and I decided that I wanted another one because I feel like 
duvet covers like sheets you want to have at least two of them so that when you're washing one you can already make the bed or if you want to flip one out in between washes you can I haven't really had that option up until now so I got this one which on camera right now I don't feel like you're kind of getting the actual true color it's more of this warm neutral beige like I said very warm tone in comparison to my current duvet which is more cool tone gray this is a pep rig bucket it's a collapsible bucket. It expands like that. This is quite mini. I already have an expandable bucket, not from Ikea, but it's one of my favorite things. It is the one that I use for basically cleaning around the apartment or if I need a bucket for mopping, like yeah, cleaning stuff. So this one I got because I wanted another one for cleaning intimates if I wanted to wash like a top or do a, a quick um, hand wash of underwear whatever it is because I live in an apartment without a washing and drying machine so I have to do my laundry in a communal space and sometimes I just have a couple items to do and I don't want to pay nor do I want to leave my apartment to do the cleaning in a full machine so this is a really I think awesome option for me it's pink and small so I know that this one is for clothing laundry and my other one is for cleaning and again because I'm always trying to pay attention to storage and being smart with what I bring into this apartment the fact that it is collapsible is a huge plus. I'll admit of everything I am going to show you today this is probably the one thing where I'm like hey, did I really need this? I don't know. It's on the same wavelength of laundry and it's essentially a little octopus clothing rack but I envision this being a great place to let my underwear dry, to let socks dry, to let cleaning cloths dry, like all those small things that take up a lot of space on my the drying rack that I use for my clothes because I use my drying rack quite a bit. And I thought this is great because I can just clip them on here and hang them somewhere so that I have more space on my drying rack. I got this beautiful set of blush paper napkins. Always a good thing to have when people come over. Some microfiber cleaning cloths. Ikea just has a lot of great cleaning supplies that aren't uh, gonna break the bank. On the note of cleaning supplies, I picked up these two brushes for scrubbing windows, for scrubbing shower tub. So great, I can't wait. Some chopsticks because I'm a girl who occasionally likes to order sushi, vegetarian sushi. I'm a, I'm a lover of a yam avocado roll, a cucumber roll, mm, what a combo. I'm excited to have these on hand because I've had to be requesting chopsticks every time I order sushi and this will allow me to just hand wash these instead. The last thing I got from Ikea will need a little bit of explanation. You're like, Caitlin, what the heck is this? This was displayed in Ikea for kids who are working from home and need like a sound barrier to allow them to focus on work, which I can see if you live in a busy home, it can be nice to just kind of pop this out and create a little mini cubicle so that you're not as prone to distractions. But what I got this for as a 25 year old who does YouTube for a living is to create like a mini sound booth for voiceovers. If you know anything about recording audio, it's really great to have things like this that muffle sound. Your, your voice just sounds a lot better than without it. And usually if I'm in a pinch, I'll throw a sheet on top of myself and bury myself with the microphone in the darkness to do voiceovers. It gets hot, I get bothered, it's not a fun time. So I'm hoping this kind of solves a lot of that. If I can avoid throwing myself under a bed sheet or a blanket to do a voiceover because of this, then this will have been money well spent. And I think the only reason I really would have considered getting something like this is because it folds up so nicely. So this is something really simple to slip behind my bookshelf. Oh my God, I have so much hair on me. I'm just shedding. We're making our way from Ikea to Indigo, one of the places that I live at, uh, as you guys know. And this time I picked up two nonfiction books that I think are gonna be chef's kiss. And this baby right here, which is a notepad from Knock Knock. I feel like this is a pretty popular notepad, but if you haven't seen it before, it comes with a magnet, you slip it onto your fridge, and then anytime you are out of something in your pantry or in your refrigerator, you mark it off so that when it comes time to do grocery shopping, you know what you're out of, what you need to pick up. You can add things and make your grocery list right on here. And I think that's such a convenient 
little tool to have because I am notorious for forgetting things at the grocery store or forgetting to write it even on my list because when I'm making my list, I, I forget about that item. So if I can just mark it down right away, that's really handy. First nonfiction book I picked up that I am pumped to dive into is Super Gut by William Davis. This is the author of Wheat Belly, which I never ended up reading, but I know that that was like a huge, huge book. Reprogram your microbiome to restore health, lose weight, and turn back the clock. I have recently started to get really interested in the topic of gut health. I think it's a great topic to jump off of after doing all that research and insights into my menstruation cycle. I kind of just want to get more curious about how I can be better taking care of the inside of my body and um, this was a new one that came out. I figure it's a great place to start. In the last like year or so I just feel like there's been a shift in my mentality of wanting to focus on my health more than I ever have before. I'm just like genuinely wanting to learn more, wanting to take care of myself, wanting to make sure I really get good habits in place so that I'm, I'm good heading into my 30s, like I'm, I'm in a good spot. And another book that I picked up is Why Has Nobody Told Me This Before by Dr. Julie Smith, Everyday Tools for Life's Ups and Downs. And what a fun like looking book. Aside from the cover pulling me in at the bookstore, what kind of solidified this as something I wanted to add to my reading list is uh, Lori Gottlieb uh, who wrote Maybe You Should Talk to Someone, which is a nonfiction book that I read. Was it in 2020 or 2021? I read it in the in recent years and I really, really love that book. I highly recommend it as like a good behind the scenes look of what goes into therapy. This book though, from what I understand, is meant to give you some practical tools for navigating certain um, areas of your life when you are in emotional pain, when you need motivation, on grief, on self-doubt, on fear, on stress, on a meaningful life. I'm here for it. Bring it on. I also had picked up this book, but I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because I talked about it in last week's vlog. This is How You Heal by Brianna Bri Brianna Weiss. And uh, I had also picked up online 101 essays that will change the way you think. I think I got this one on Amazon. Um, I think these two are meant to be together. They look gorgeous together. And both of these are very short, simple reads. We're moving on to clothing. The first being from Lululemon. A friend of mine actually got hooked up with a family and friends discount. When she was putting in an order, I was like, oh, 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 you wanna help a girl out and order two things for me. And the two things I actually ordered are items I already own and I just wanted another one because I love them so much. The first one, I haven't taken the tag off yet, uh, but it is the Align Tank. I have this tank top in an olive green and it is my favorite workout top bra to use when doing yoga, when doing more high intensity stuff, so good. The other item I got was the Align Legging, which the Align Legging was something I lived in for the past couple of years, so my other pair, looks quite worn out and uh i just needed i just needed another one they're they're the most buttery smooth leggings out there it feels like you're wearing nothing i haven't tried many dupes i'm sure there are other great leggings out there but when you know you know and i know i just love wearing these so uh the price hurts but I, I get my use out of them. I did an order from Aerie that was like so magically delicious in the sense that I was getting discounts on discounts. I was getting discounts from the sales that they had going on, which were like 40% off bras, a 10 for $40 uh, underwear sale. And then they also gave me 25% off everything because it was my birthday. It was just like, wow, I'm raining. I'm raining with the deals and I was so happy. However, comma, when my order came in, I had ordered like four bras because I haven't been wearing bras at all during these past couple years, so I needed new bras desperately. So I got four of them because all of them were under 30 bucks. Impeccable price for bras. Uh, and none of them fit. I haven't bought a bra in so long that my bra size has completely changed. So I have to return those. And I'm gonna have to make a point of going somewhere to get properly fitted because I'm just very confused as to what bra size I am now. And I, like, yeah, I, I just was shocked. I did not expect that at all because I've ordered airy bras 
many times in the past. What are you gonna do though? However, the underwear was a great success. I got 10 pairs for 40 bucks, which is a great deal. I'm not gonna show off all the underwear that I bought, but I do wanna talk about this one specific style because I just love it. It's my favorite thong that I own. It is a ribbed high, um, it, what are they called high cut high cut thong i'll include links to everything down in the description box below i love how high it sits on the hip i feel like visually it's something that's really beautiful on my body but it's also just so comfortable and i feel like thongs never get the wrap of being comfortable but this one i enjoy so much that i got many of them <laughs> one of my go-to's as of late. This order I made from Abercrombie was a few weeks ago. I'm still trying to decide on some of the pieces, but I figured I'd show off what, what I had picked up on this recent one. Cause again, I got it during, I think a 30% off sale, which is usually one of the higher sales that they do at Abercrombie. First piece I picked up was this bodysuit. It's a black bodysuit, but what makes this kind of interesting aside from the fact that it has this lace detail is the open back, which you can't really see right now i'll include like photos or something because i wore this in my 25th birthday photo on instagram although i have like my fair share of black bodysuits this open back style is so different and unlike anything i have in my closet right now uh and it's just like something a little bit i don't know sexier a little bit more fun but still not like out there in the sense that i can't see myself finding good opportunities to wear it. I love having fun pieces in my wardrobe, but when they are like so out there that they're only for very, very, very specific types of occasions, then I feel like, what's the point? These are the jean shorts I talked about in my birthday vlog video, so I won't go over them too much, but I am very excited about these because I haven't had a pair of jean shorts in so long because usually I can't find stuff that really works with someone who has smaller waist, bigger hips, more but it's just a fine line between finding a short that you feel confident in but also that isn't something that at least for me personally that i feel uncomfortable like walking the streets in the city and you know i've said it once before but i'll say it again like the curve love line at abercrombie is just it saved me and jeans because it was it was rough waters there for a few years trying to find stuff and i feel like now i have i found i found my go-to's <laughs> But I decided to pick up this pair. I think this is a straight jean. Again, will be linked below. What kind of drew me to it though was this asymmetrical button situation. Very different, but not, not different or trendy in a way that I feel like once this trend has passed, it's unwearable. I love the wash in them too. I think this is great not only for winter, but will carry over really nicely to spring. During Vlogmas, you may remember that I picked up a black pair of jeans from Abercrombie that I had said that I was gonna keep, but I did end up returning because of a little bit of, of a gap that I had in the back. I ended up picking up a jean that wasn't from their Curve Love line, and it's crazy how I did notice a difference in that fabric back there, because usually with the Curve Love line, I don't get that excess fabric. So. I finally just got a pair of the straight, the ankle straight ultra high rise curve loves in solid black. I now finally have a pair of black jeans. I do need to take off the tags. I've just been trying to make sure for sure for sure that I'm okay to go. But I think this one is for sure gonna be one I keep because it's just a, it's a staple jean to have. It's, it's hard not having a pair of black jeans in your closet. I feel like it's just one of those that can be adaptable for so many situations. This pair is the pair that I am the most hemming and hawing over. It is the 90s Slim Straight Ultra High Rise. Uh, I love the wash. As you can see, it does have a cut in the jean, which I, I know ripped jeans are in. I know that a lot of people wear them and it's totally cool. I'm just not sure. If it's my vibe but this one of all the ripped jeans i've tried is probably the best in the sense that it's only one rip and it's on, on one leg i hate it when there's two rips on both knees i feel like it cuts me off weird um so i think this is as good as it will get but i'm just i'm still gonna try it on a couple more times to make sure i feel like i've only really tried this on once i will have to report back on that i want to know in the comment section down below where is a store that like you have been recently really drawn to especially in the clothing department i feel like abercrombie for a lot of us has really pulled us in over the years but i want to hear like from you specifically what 
what are those stores that you've been really drawn to also let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more hauls for me i don't typically do a lot of shopping like this i'm not usually doing like ikea trips all the time but i can be mindful of keeping things together uh, and doing videos like you know every few months or so of things I have acquired recently if that's of interest like the video if you enjoyed it I had a real fun time with this one. It's sometimes just nice to just talk about Basic things nothing too serious. I don't know. I had a good time. I hope you did too I will see you all soon with a new video. I'm gonna go Deal with the cleanup situation of everything that is scattered around my living room right now Toodles everyone. Bye. 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 Bye-bye.